Welcome to Roll for Crit Playback. On this episode, we're taking a look at NHL Power Play. This belongs to Cryptozoic Cerberus Engine deck building game, so you'll be building up your deck in order to make successful shots on goalie. We'll see if we know anything about sports. <laughs> Spoilers, we don't. I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit Playback. We've got our captains, the rank is set. Mark will be going first because he's actually the only person at the table who really knows about hockey. Go sports! So, three power and two tangle on the boards. Look at that. I was sort of hoping you'd go Tripping like, I play up. three guys with sticks. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so, him, for the audience at home. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Steven yeah, Stamkos. Yeah. He's a real good one. Yeah, but, uh, not he, he, okay. he sports pretty well. <laughs> he gets that's, those holes on one. That's what yeah. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's expensive. Like, well, there's two forecasts and then three right. seven. Three sevens, I think that's what they call a hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> it's kind of a natural hat trick because they're all uh, in a row. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, so I've got I've got three sports no, and, and two team. not sports. <laughs> uh, so the only thing I can do is get this alternate sports. So I only have two power, so I can't do anything. <laughs> Jonathan, what's wrong with you? You're so bad at this. It's right. all your fault. All right, I am going to play three passes because that's what the cards called. They're called sports. <laughs> and two not sports. But you always gotta go for those defense cards. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna be really essential here, especially when we're all. All right, it's so definitely gonna be a bit more. Yeah. I now have four sportses, so I can buy one of these two. All right, so I have now five passes. Oh man, you Look can at buy you one sports card. Is so good. <laughs> um, well, my instinct is to take the most expensive card, uh, and neither of them are maneuvers, which is my special thing, so it doesn't matter. Um, this that one be good for you. Yeah, that one benefits from maneuvers too. Yes, yeah, so that's not good. It. And it's gonna give you at least plus two power right now, where that's giving you plus one. Yeah, so we'll take that. All right. It's mandatory for me to buy myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say so. <laughs> that's right. probably a good call. So, Marky, you want to? You finally got a skill you can pick up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it too. Good good hustle, guys. <laughs> Woo! Like sports. how you talk through that. Yeah. <laughs> how would you pronounce this? Sports. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna do some sports and, and some destroying. So I'm gonna destroy a card in my hand. And then I've got one, two, three, four. So let's see, what can I sports? Matt, you've used up the about <laughs> the word sport we're allowed to use in the video. The FCC will take us down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's not the FCC, it's it's a special nerd. Video Association, there's too much uh, sports in this now. <laughs> right. <laughs> we have a quota. Our yeah, audience will leave. <laughs> well, I'm gonna buy this guy. Uh, this is still there. Nobody wants that card, huh? I kind of. I almost just want to take a slap shot. Just take a slap shot. And take a slap shot. But Mark wants that, so I should take it. Because it's gonna be a big help for him, particularly later when she starts getting lots. Well, of it's skills. also a big help happen. for you too. Yeah. yeah. In, in all fairness. All right. Yeah. So I'm buying Drew. Okay. Good old Drew. Yeah. Love From. Him. The LA team, because apparently California has enough ice <laughs> for a hockey they're team. They're actually really good. They don't have teams, water, so. but they have, have ice. <laughs> wow, that's a little uh, dated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch the news a lot. Of that. <laughs> I've got seven power. <laughs> Congrats. How'd you man? That's actually a lot. Because yeah, I had the, the breakaway, two slap shots, and two passes. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, Both these wrong. cards are exactly the same. As far as I can tell, this is a different yeah. guy. Yeah. Different guy. Oh, there. <laughs> thank you. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to help. I'm just gonna play six power this turn. Oh, what a Everybody gains a penalty. Uh oh. And I get an extra for playing a skill, so I get seven. Ah, nice. I'm gonna use my thing discard two passes to draw a card. There he is. There so he I is. gain a card from the center ice and put it into my hand. I'll gain this okay. to gain a card from the center ice and put it into my hand. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man. 
Um, Matt? I think Matt's winning. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Matt, this isn't good. I'll gain, I'll gain that for three power. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're all saving our defenders now for whenever Matt's playing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm taking a shot on goalie. Oh no. Alright. I still have to reshuffle my deck, but to be honest, I don't think I have any defender cards. So starting with you. <laughs> so add to the goalie rating and then I can destroy a card in my hand. Alright. I play one, and because I play attack, I can destroy something, which is the main so reason why I did this. He is going for it. And I get to draw a card. Draw two cards. Draw a card. Oh, oh no, draw two cards, so that's one. Oh boy. <laughs> How much power do you have so far? Like two. Yeah, two. Two power. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed a little more impressive than that. Eight, nine, ten. I'm nope. one short. He's 11. Yep. Oh. Good oh. thing I defended, guys. I didn't have any defenders. <laughs> sure. Wow. I, I mean, you'll see on my turn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there should be locations here. There aren't. So, so of rinks. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Nice, yeah. I think that'd be, that'd actually be pretty awesome. And if it's like the home team of your captain, then you get to no, e win. No, no e each one should say <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, there you go, because home uh, advantage advantage always works. <laughs> get an extra power for every popcorn you sell here. <laughs> now it's Hockey Tycoon. That's what, that's what we really want. <laughs> we, we want to manage Hold the Hold the city hostage saying you will move your stadium to LA. <laughs> We need to euro gameize this. So as we stated in the beginning, this belongs to Cryptozoic's deck building games, along with the DC and Lord of the Rings and Naruto so far. Oh, and, and Street Fighter. Fighter. Okay. How and could we you actually forget? did a already a review and playback on the DC deck building game, so you, you can see how they're pretty much the same idea. It's the there's different card types. In this case, they're labeled though to make more sense. It would make sense if there's hero and villain. <laughs> right. Uh, it's more based on the hockey. The NHL. Appropriately enough. Yes. Uh, but it does have some big differences. If you watch the DC one, uh, which I would argue almost all the rest are much closer related. This one, I think, strays off. It's sort of the oh, really? black sheep of the group. Hmm. Uh, it, you play the game. There's the super villain deck in which you fight and give you big points. But your other cards give you points at the end of the game as well. In some cases, some of the cards are even worth more than the villains. In this, all the cards you buy don't matter in game. This is like an actual game. All that matters are successful shots on the goalie. Right. <laughs> uh, which definitely changes things up. It's a pretty big difference, yeah, because you're much... I mean, that is your sole focus. And uh, it also simplifies things because it's much easier to see during the game who is winning. You, really, in DC, there's no way to know. I mean, you can kind of keep track. I mean, you, can, you can sort of see who might be leading, but not an obvious, because there's plenty of times when we thought someone was going to win. Not. Right. But another thing is the goalies, and the other one, when you beat a supervillain, it goes into your deck. And right. the more it costs, usually the stronger ability it gives. Or end points, obviously. This one, doesn't matter how much it costs, same amount of points, doesn't go in your deck. So that you start coming up, a lot of times when I've played this, you see the choice of, do I try to get that early nine-point goalies that give me that early advantage, mm. or do I try to build up my card advantage by getting the stronger mm. cards and then be able to really take out very much the end-game goalies, even, with, even when my opponent plays three defenders on you. Yeah, it's interesting, because there, there there's not as much of an advantage. Like in, It's definitely good in DC to get those early supervillains because they actually add to your deck. In this You kind of have a luxury where you can wait if you need to right. in this one. And I mentioned defenders, that's the other thing. No one can usually stop you from right. taking a supervillain in the DC one. Right. This one they can. Yeah, there, there's and, and they often will. You only so everybody gets to play one defender, I'm sure you saw Each player, yes. uh, against the goalie, and that that also comes into play if you have to decide. Well, who do I really want to block? Right. <laughs> if you only have one defender in hand, it's very interesting. Like Jonathan may be making a shot on goal, but if Mark, who was playing with us, gets it, who is actually the only person at the table who really knows about hockey, yeah, uh, if he goes, he already has two goals, so I don't want him to get another one. Right. Yeah, so, you know, spite. <laughs> yes, which brings us, I think, to uh, what my brother, who won the game, uh, was complaining about, though, is that near the end of the game, as you mentioned, you can sort of see he's winning, and you can also see how whether you have no chance or not. Right. It's like, the, I think it was the two of us. Yes. <laughs> who, you know, we knew how many goals were left, we knew how many we had well, made. We, 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 we were kicked out of the game, though. I think it was the last goalie. 
if we want, if either of us won the second to last goalie, yeah, we still had a shot. So relatively speaking, it wasn't like we found out in the third for third of the game, which some games we've have played before. Yeah, no, I agree. It, it wasn't like yeah, there wasn't like twenty minutes where we were sitting there. Uh, what's the point? I shouldn't even be here anymore. It was pretty close to the end. You going for goal? I might because I know you two don't have any, unless you were just holding out for him. <laughs> <laughs> I would hold out for Matt. Well, no, <laughs> you can have multiple defenders. You can only That's play true. one, remember? Oh, yeah, you can only play one. That's true. So, nah, I'm just going to do seven. I'm going to take past Skater. Uh, okay, so that's probably a good choice. Yeah. Wise move. Yeah. All right. I would have stopped you. <laughs> okay. No, I'm going to be ballsy and take a shot on goal. All, All right. right. This is not going to end well. I'm not right, starting to stop you. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's worth it. Well. Nah. Wow. Well. <laughs> nah. Ah. Nah. 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 No, I think I'm just gonna. Oh, that's no. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Right. Wow. Right. I'm gonna take a shot on the goalie. I can't block. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use this guy. It adds two, and then I draw a card. Ten, He's five, at eleven. Five, yeah. Twelve, Twelve. I have the fake shot, but I'm not using it because I have eleven. All right. All right. So you get it. Yay! You goal. did it! You did yeah, it. You do it like this, see? First I goal. Goal. goal! I have a goal! Goal! That's soccer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's a sport. That's a sport that's close enough. Yes. It's a vuvuzela. Uh, yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> Don, Dion Fanouf. Some of these just sound like Pokemon names to me. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> it's Kim Fowler. Kim Fowler. <laughs> I'm going to gain a penalty to make everyone discard two cards. Oh, damn. Uh, that's a tough choice for me, but I'm going to go with these two tangled on the boards. <laughs> so I have 14. Remember your ability? I used it already. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. Just checking. So you're going to score? See ya. Goal. All right. I actually had the puck. You're supposed to take the puck. All right. <laughs> Quit bow it. All right. Yeah, I was like, but I have a lot card. of draw. I figured I wasn't at high enough power to take it right away, but I was like, I have a lot of draw, I can probably get there. You did. And I did. And I'm handling my stick. So, I'm gonna do a pass with a drop pass, and then take a slap shot. Whoa. With a total of five power. It's like I'm watching Mark, do you have sports? one card in hand? <laughs> Wait, how did that happen? Because he played a defense, destroyed a card out of his hand from it, and then I made him discard two cards. <laughs> I hope it's a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> it just might be he's not saying anything. <laughs> as much as I like the sport, some of the administrative stuff goes in my head. <laughs> That's the fun part. Yeah. Is it? Numbers and names and <laughs> Get out of here. You're that kid that goes to a baseball game with a notepad. <laughs> Moneyball is the best sports movie. Alright guys, I'm taking a shot at the goal. With only three cards in my hand. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> go for it. Will he be? Who will be playing defenders? I will not. Nah. Actually, wait. You're I will be taking. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, I will play defender then. Rude. I got my big my my trump card here. Is I I gain a penalty, but I get to get all my pass. past cards, which uh, is uh, should be all of them, right? Because I think I got rid of one, so it's gonna be six. Yeah, if you had teamwork, the card that makes it all your passes count for three. Yeah. <laughs> you would have had, let's see, how much is it? 18, One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um, I, I gain the top card of the main deck, so uh, depending on what it is. In your hand? Yeah. Uh, yeah so oh! Sh oh, the teamwork! <laughs> the teamwork! Wow. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> wow, now that. There's your heart of the cards. How many uh, goalies are left? Not a lot. Three. Three. Right. Mm -hmm. So this game might last like another round or two. Actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there needs to be a card that lets you steal goals from other players. I don't think that's a hockey mechanic. I'm though. pretty sure. Mark, taking a shot on goal? Because <sighs> you're all gonna. I don't know. Go for it, punk. <laughs> Whoa. Well, you're all going to defend me, probably. Well, did you just draw six? Well, we're not going to defend did, you. So. Oh, really? <laughs> we're going to defend oh, yeah. against you. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. No? Yeah, sure. It's Camp Fowler again. <laughs> Damn it. No, okay. <laughs> I, I can't. And then discard Jonathan. Oh, no, nope. I'll discard the one I drew. 
Jonathan, I hate you so much. Yeah! You shouldn't be proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Maybe I can get it. 9, 10, 11. Oh, everyone get a penalty. 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I got it. <sighs> all right, that's all yours. Yeah. I was rooting for you the whole time, man. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> it's only Mark, one. Mark, do you have a defense? I really don't think I'm going to make it, but I, there's, there's no point in me not taking it. You're shot. really honest, so I'm going to believe you, and I'm going to hold <laughs> onto it. All right. So I'm going to... Just because I like you, Matt. I really do. Oh. I kind of hope he wins. Just to... <laughs> yeah. Draw two cards. I've got 500 penalties in here. Nope. Oh, oh wow. Matt, this is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I've got one, two, three, four, and you've made him one, one higher. So he's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have teamwork in here. Did you just count Wait, 17? Yeah, I definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I was just like, I think there was I'll seven. Is that game 17. over? Unless I misheard seven, that 17. number there. So that's six, seven, eight. All right, I have to play this. <laughs> and then that's 13. I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. I right. have another card in my hand oh, that would let me draw two more defense. cards. Yep. You had a defense? Yeah, I had a defense, but uh, I didn't get it. No, that's why you know, I didn't ever believe. I didn't think I was going to get it. I had, you but it's, it's also fine. Because I had like, like three power and draw four. Yeah. And the thing is, I had so I have so many penalties in here. Yeah. So Mark, as a sportsman, how does this compare to real hockey for you? <laughs> this is fun. I mean, I like, like, you know, just shooting outside my like front yard, like in my driveway with my friends every once in a while. Like when I was a kid, we used to do it a lot. But yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Favorite one's probably still the Lord of the Rings one. I really like the aspect of getting ambushed by the enemies in the lineup. Like I really like that. And Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite mythos. So, right. or what, the hockey right? mythos is not as strong. <laughs> it's not as strong. Well, one of the things we did notice, which you said how you can pick who to defend against, works actually really great in the favor then of the person who's like like us who are in last place. Sure, you could play defender on them, but you might as well let them have the goal. Because it's better than making sure the other person's guaranteed win. Right. There's also a strategy of, of trying to... You don't want to make the first goal attempt because everyone will use their defenders on you. <laughs> and then the next person gets a free shot sometimes. So there's almost like a game of chicken there too. I think that was my hurdle in this game was for a while... I didn't realize, because you don't need to have the amount of points required at the outset to, to try to make a goal. You might have cards that let you draw more. Which is very important for the, for the attackers who will let you draw more. And also my favorite card, which was uh, Fake Shot. <laughs> right. Which lets you... Oh, that's the other thing we totally forgot to talk about. Oh, yeah. In DC Villains, you can, you can buy some from the lineup, then go for the villain, or vice versa. In this, you have to commit right. to the goalie. Which yeah. I really love, because that means like I could go for goalie, but that card's in the lineup that I really want. And it's a nice balancing thing where if somebody does make the shot, well, at least they didn't get to buy anything that turn. This so. is no, that's actually what, what the really is interesting about that goalie. Remember when I was talking earlier about the early game lead, you mm -hmm. could get from getting those goalies. You might get that, but then the other person's been buying up things. You haven't been improving your deck. Right, exactly. So it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty good I, can't, I guess catch up. Okay, balancing kind of yeah. I would say in this case but yeah I for me I definitely feel like uh, I was too afraid to try to make goals early on I think the lesson I learned is you the, you should go for it more because more often than not once you have a base deck at least even if you don't think you can make it if there's a chance you can make it it's worth trying I say the first of all I would have to say this game is a little bit weird for you because in this one my brother got the uh, the game cards in line upon that yeah all he, of them. <laughs> he had a he, it's almost similar to when we played I got the superpower <laughs> yeah right. in DC the, like it was like a one out of very few chance but um it definitely for me I would like it also depends on my card's ability was to attack so like I sure. wanted to fail attacks dude right <laughs> yeah that was interesting you, you did um, that a lot on purpose <laughs> yeah which is why I really wanted those fake shots <laughs> yeah which were great <laughs> but you bought one of them. <laughs> But uh, we haven't talked about what I think is actually the most, um, my favorite difference, which actually is, I think, is the one, the most important reason to buy this game if you have the other DC, uh, other deck builder games, because, like I said, it becomes weird mixing them, is the weaknesses. In this game, they're called penalties. Mm -hmm. In the DC deck building game, the weaknesses are similar to vulnerabilities, except they subtract one by your end game score. So you don't want to get flooded by them just for the sake of 
lose your turn. And it's a it's a card and it clogs up your deck. Yeah, yeah. And this same idea of clogging, but what happens is, which is actually very fitting for sports, if you draw too many penalties, two, two, you have to or reveal more. them anytime you have them. Uh, you turn on Michael Yates. Whatever you're doing stops. You don't get a chance to buy or anything. Yeah, that, and that, and that's, but then you discard them. You so, might, no, well, not discard you. Right? Oh, you get, turn you them get pile, rid of them. We should right. say, so you don't say them in your deck. So it is like you are <laughs> serving your penalty, <laughs> uh, which is kind of cool. Well, the really cool thing about it, though, is a lot of the, we were mentioning a lot of the attacks usually happen. I don't have enough power, but I have all these attackers, so I'm going to be able to draw five cards. But I might draw two penalties. Right, yeah, that was the funny thing, too, because there were a couple of turns, or at least one, where Matt was drawing, like, 20 cards, and it was like, seems so good, but then he draws two penalties, and it negates everything. So, you, yeah, you have to be careful about that. No, but, and it becomes a lot, really great tension-wise, because you're seeing Matt, we're like, draw a second penalty, draw a second penalty, draw a second penalty. <laughs> uh, but thematically, it's also, it, it is pretty interesting uh, from a hockey perspective. Again, we right. know nothing about hockey, but... but in terms of mixing the cards, the problem, like, since they don't have points, it's a little harder. I'm mm -hmm. sure you can calculate it. But the penalties, I think, go in perfectly. You don't need to edit anything about them. They have no points, so they don't lower your score at the end of the game. But by making it so that you could lose a whole turn, I think is very interesting in the DC deck building game styles. And if you're asking, well, it doesn't fit. Well, yes, it does. You can just think that, like, they were caught, you know, doing something questionable so that they lay low for a while. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like the yeah. way you think. I mean, how many times have you seen in Marvel when they're like, I've crossed a line? Or I'd, I'd also argue that if you're that worried about uh, oh, thematic yeah. <laughs> fitting in, in deck building games for DC. You might be in the wrong game. Yeah, because, like, I mean, as we pointed out in this video, too, the fact that we take turns trying to score on the goalie and defending the same goalie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, it's like this weird. It's, it's, it's like, I got you buddy, stab. <laughs> I like to think that it's future hockey and there's like six teams at once on the ring. I like how it has to be future hockey, not just <laughs> yeah. like, it's regular game with just different rules. No, it's, Hockey in the year 3000. Yeah, they become too bored with regular hockey. They had all it's like laser hockey or something. <laughs> well, then that's when you mix the DC cards in, so it's like, okay, I'm taking a shot on goal, I use heat vision, you know, like uh, uh, Charluk, like some Street Fighter move. <laughs> you need like bat the Batman Beyond in there because it's that time period for sure. Oh, I want them to do that. They should, but that's not. But, um, going on with mixing them, I actually do think this car, this style, I, w I even think maybe the same people worked on it. Uh, mm. does fit amazingly with the DC Duel style of games. Mm. If you don't know this, so far there's one, as of this recording. The Batman vs. Joker, Joker. And uh, Batman vs. Superman is coming up. Rivals, that's what it's called. Yeah. Uh, in which in that game, it is point system, but the idea is you actually will take a shot on your opponent. It's sort of the same idea. You either buy or take a shot on your opponent. And then he has, the, he has the ability to play block cards, which are the defenders. It's the same idea, to add points to your value. So really, it's the same sort of idea. It would mix really well, and maybe if you had the Superman versus Batman one too, you could actually do then a four-player one. Maybe mm. because that would actually work since the 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 hockey ones would give you that nice big deck you need. Get creative with it, yeah. Well, that's uh, I feel like half the time with playing all these deck building games. Yeah. Well, I think and uh, you know I think we should also talk about. Uh, experiencing this from the point of view of people who know nothing about hockey, because I'm sure that part of the fun in that and in just the game in general for a lot of people would just be seeing like, whoa, what if Batman fought hockey player? <laughs> well, I do. I know nothing about hockey, neither do you. Mark does though, and we've had. I've talked with Mark because I played a lot more with him about it. With this, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, we like so we have done the one v one compared to a group, and it's definitely a very different game. Since you're you're only going back and forth, which then. makes sense a yes. little bit more in that case too. <laughs> it as of not knowing anything about hockey, I still really enjoyed it because I do feel it is as a fan of the DC deck building game style. It is a I think a nice change of pace. Uh, I think it is, it definitely makes things a lot different. In fact, I sort of I, I definitely love the idea of of being forced to commit mm -hmm. to the to the big boss. Whatever yeah, the, the major changes they made are definitely, as you said, refreshing. It's yeah, nice. um, and even though I don't recognize all of them, I mean, reading the cards, understanding them, I like them because I can still understand the idea of like uh, the penalty. There was one thing right. that was like everyone gets a penalty, and like I forget the name, but I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, coming from Mark's view, because I know I talked to him, it's been really great because he's like, oh, I don't like that guy. Like he's you know the teams <laughs> and stuff. He's like, no, that makes sense. So like as a hockey fan, he's really liked it. But as someone who doesn't know anything really as much about hockey, 
you don't be scared of it. it <laughs> once again, sort of like if you're looking for something heavy, rich, theme rich. Right. Maybe <laughs> right. Rich. Yeah. <laughs> it is, I mean, it does, I think for me at least, it does lose a little bit. It's not, you know, I mean, obviously, it's not as much fun as if knowing who Batman is. Like, I definitely think you don't need to know hockey for sure, and it'll still be fun. But I do think there is, you know. If, if you, you know something, that, no, you will no, enjoy it more. No, if you know about this, you'll love it. But, yeah. I'm, but I think the point is that if you don't know about hockey, that doesn't mean like, oh, ignore it. I, if you like the DC Death Metal game, first of all, the mixing and penalties, I think, is just an amazing. I think it makes it so much more interesting because it changes a lot of things. Though, bizarre becomes weird, so you might want to <laughs> avoid that. We won't get into that. Um, but I think also it just gives you that, that completely sort of, while knowing the rules, a fresh, a fresh breath. Sort of Fresh like a, a new look on the 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 the, the cryptozoic deck building style, and uh, if you ha if you know people in your family who maybe don't like board games board. that much but are hockey fans, or oh yeah, no, this would be the great because very good way to get. I them can in. just imagine them just being like taking the puck. I'm taking a shot on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like going full out, and especially <laughs> when like choosing seeing the teammates and stuff. You know, getting really excited like. Yeah, I got this team, like whatever your team you root for. Right. <laughs> yeah, try to put together your own, your whole team. <laughs> That'd be really hard to do, probably. No, it definitely, especially <laughs> since, uh, you know, there's only so many cards. That's slots. a variant. Because I know uh, Mark's favorite team is not represented there oh, as much right. as hmm. others. I wonder but if there'll be expansions, team expansions. I don't think so, so uh, or at least not yet, mostly because I. Uh, because I think a lot of people have been really scared so far from what I've heard. Right, yeah. Because it's hockey. But. I We're here think, to tell you, don't be scared. <laughs> no, well, I think they should because um, compare out of all the different uh, service engine games, the DC one being the first one. DC one's good. Uh, the Street Fighter one is very fun. I enjoyed it. The Naruto one, I think there's. I like the idea of to, what they tried to do something different, but I think they missed the shot. Um, like pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended there. Um, but this one I think hits the mark in terms of. It's not part of the hero one, so it's the hero service engine style, so it's different. Oh, I forgot Lord of the Rings too, but I haven't played oh, that one yeah. enough to really fairly quote. I think it really hit the mark on, I'm still in the Cerberus engine style, but I'm playing their game. A new coat of paint without yes. changing it so much that you don't recognize Similar it. Similar to how, I, you always I feel like we compare it to the legendary <laughs> system, how like Alien and Predator, I feel, are different, but they hit the mark. Yeah. I think in terms of, you don't feel like... You're, it's not fun. You still get the fun same mechanics, but in a whole different twist. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's it's hockey. I think I think if you, yeah, if if you're gonna want this game, you know it, but you might not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, w I wouldn't. Uh, I, if you're into hockey or the the Cerberus Cryptozoic deck building game, this is definitely one to check out. I think is the yeah. final point we're yes, trying to make. Yes. Don't be <laughs> scared of it just say. because either you're not into gaming of board games or you're not into hockey. This, yeah. I think that if you're on either side this will It's this will, a nice meeting ground yes. for, for the two. You will find something that you enjoy there for sure. It might not blow your mind. It's not it might not it's not gonna be your five tribes or whatever <laughs> the game of the year, whatever you think. But it's uh, your, I think it's a comfort game. Yeah, well I know for you it is. Yeah. No, but I mean the idea of like it's it's not. It's the one where you can just play and just like bring out regularly. Like it's not the one where you're gonna play. Okay. It's simple. It's not yeah. mind bending or anything yes. like that. Uh, if you haven't tried any of the deck building games, then we sell them all mm -hmm. on our site. So. Oh, uh, there's great ways to check that out. You can check out our how to play videos too to give you more of an idea of what the games are like, whether or not it's something you'd be into. Uh, you can check that out on our website, rollforcrit.com, uh, where we have lots more videos and stuff for sale like this. And of course, you can actually send us questions if you want to know how, how we played it, how it's different. Maybe you've played it, you want to tell us your experiences. Maybe you actually tried mixing things. I'd love to hear if someone came up with their own rules like, this is how I mix this with the DC or so on and so forth in order yeah. to keep the point conversion or something. Because I know with Alien doesn't have the same thing with legendary points, and I've already been thinking about that. <laughs> right. um, let us know. You can send us a comment right down below. Really simple. Or if you don't have the time and later you just want to send a small blurb, there's Twitter. Yeah. Did you say our email address? No, I didn't it's, get there yet. It's rollforcrit at gmail.com. Also, if you have ideas for expansions, you know mine is the Mighty Ducks expansion. Oh, yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> Crossover pack of Mighty Ducks. Are That's, you kidding me? That'd be great. They could do the cartoon and the, the movies. Yeah, no, they, they gotta have both in there. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think that covers everything. Otherwise, please like us, subscribe. Or the America America versus Russia dual deck versus <laughs> rivals. <laughs> they could have Olympics. I, I think we need to the soccer... Oh, no, I think the big thing next. that this game 
is I think they missed out on yeah. is rank cards, like for locations. That's the one thing they don't have compared to the other ones. I think that would have been hilarious. I agree. I agree. But um, yeah, tell us your ideas of how this game could have been improved or where they, or, or uh, Kurtzoic maybe should go on there from here. <laughs> maybe just make a superhero one that they're all wearing hockey. <laughs> <laughs> it could be Batman and they're all, they're wearing hockey pads yeah. from... The movie, <laughs> the quote. Uh, anyway, that is the NHL Power Play, and my name is Jonathan Estes. I'm Will Keeler, and this has been Roll for Quit Playback. Uh, and also, it, you know, it, it does a good job. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something, and my brain just exploded. Well, uh, Wait, okay. <laughs> we'll we'll cut there. But let me let me just let me just. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to know what I was going to say. You guys are watching, <laughs> editing this. I'm moving my hands. Look at this loser who forgot what he was going to say. Something about about the goals. It was so. It was really good too. Uh.